Welcome back and tune into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here on SABC3 on a true Feel Good Thursday morning. Volgende is ek baie opgewonde, want ons maak een van my ginsling dinge onder die son hier in die Expresso Combuis volgend saam met die lieflike Anel Potgieter van Life Suzuki Biscuit. Lekker saam met jou te kan keir. Lekker om hier te wees. You know what, this has been making the rounds throughout the studio uh. this morning. We are making fudge, alright? The most decadent fudge that you've ever seen in your life. Ek weet, het kan nie verstaan, mense is mal oor fudge, nie, en jy sal dink, dit het nou al bykie, want mense is gesondheidsbewus, maar ek sê vir jou, ek het al gesien hoe Elana hierdie goedkies verslin, en hoe allemaal daarna kyk, so dit is, ja, Elana. Nee, ons sien julle allemaal, ons watch julle, ons watch julle. Right, ok, kom ons maak het, kom ons begin die gang. Hierdie fudge is baie eenvoudig, jy vat melk, ok, en dan suiker, natuurlijk baie suiker. This fudge, fudge is vast lekker baie suiker, ja. En dan botter, as jy dit daaruit kan uitskraap. Hierdie is die traditionele fudge wat botter, stroop, suiker, al die lekker goed in kraap. Sê, my, wat is salat die suiker die jy gebruik daar? Hoekom gebruik ons die wit ene? Jy gebruik die wit ene, want jy wil nie karamel of iets heen nie, want as jy die donker ene gebruik, gaan dit baie karamel proep. Meer is wat jy dit wil heen. Yes, ek al hierdie soetigheid. Jette, en wie gaan hierdie blikkie, wonder ek, wie gaan hierdie blikkie in die studio gaan dit uitlek? Ek gaan hem wegsteek. Wat een net sê, jy gaan vir jouself houden, dus hoe kom? Ek onthou toe ek klein wat ek gaankies gedrik, want ek onder my bed gaan leen, het uitgesaai. Skalimpes. En dan moet jy die stroop in sit. Ok, daar gaan die stroop in. Ja, nog meer sit. Ek onthou het altyd my ma vir my fudge gemaakt met een chocolade laagje boven, dan vir my school toe gestuur in so'n oud plastiek sakkie. Ek is sikker nie dat met niemand gedeel, nie. Tuurlijk nie. Ek het al verkoop. Goeie plan. Ek het extra geldkie gemaakt, ja. Entrepreneur. Hierdie kook jy nou, teen, vir omtrend so 20, 30 minute, en al wat jy doen, jy krij jy thermometer, en dit moet teen 118 graden gekook word, sachte bal staan. 118 graden. En ek wil gaan vir jou blijk, en ek is blij jy roer het, want jy moet het baie roer. Hoe sachte bal stadium lijk? As jy een bykie vat, en jy sê dit in koude water, en jy maak het so, jy sê dit vorm my sachte bal, en jy gaan nou sien. Ek gaan nou nog een bykie daar in sê. Ok. En dit is die consistency wat jy wil hee, is so'n klein sachte balliekie wat hy vorm. Jy gaan nou sien. Oh, so dan weet jy die perfecte fudge beet. Dan het jy die perfecte fudge. Ek het gewoon ook een vrouw, ook as jy een softball stage. Ja, dit is een softball stage. So dit is al, so as nou by 118 grade oor, dan gaan die lepel hier in. Gids, ek wonder wie gaan dit uitvis, want ek gaan my verbrand. Ja, wees, be very, very careful when you are using sugar and all of these and the melting, it really gives you a bad burn if you are not careful. Ja. Okay, so... So hierdie het nou al gekook, en het is by 118 graden, en dan gooi jy net een klein bykie vanilla by, vergeer. En jy kan natuurlijk die vanilla vervang, weet wat baie lekker is, is zout fudge. Jy nou dit salty caramel, jy kan so lepelkiepie of twee hier ingooi om vir jou salty caramel te gee. En nou die geheim, ek onthou as kind, het ek met die houtlepel gestaan en hierdie goed geroer en geroer en geroer, want jy wil hierdie suiker my kristalliseer. Nou vat ons net... A whisk? Uh -huh. Whisk, and we're going to know it. Of course, if you would like to know how to make your very own fudge, the keyword this morning is Salati to 33728. Salati to 33728 will send you everything you need to know. Keep in mind those SMSs class to 1 Rand 50. Ek gaan nou hierdie probeer klits tot die stadium. Ek weet nie of ek het gaan raak, en hy specifiek vir oogend nie. Ons moet nou, ja, ek sê jy wat, klits jy so lang, nee? Klits jy so lang, en while she is busy making sure that she gets it just right, here's a quick look back once more how we made our fudge this morning. Combine butter, condensed milk, milk, syrup and sugar in a pot. Stir, then bring to the boil. Simmer until it reaches 118 degrees. Remove from the heat, then stir in vanilla. Whisk for 5 minutes, pour into greased tin, then smooth the top. Leave to cool completely. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to www.expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe on our Mobi site. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. That's it. And that keyword once again, Salati to 33728. We'll send the shopping list. Also add a link to the recipe that you can go follow. SMS's cost 1 Rand 50. Keep that in mind. Right. The consistency that you will hear is half a peanut butter dick. You know how peanut butter dick is. Here is now a bit thinner than this. But as you put the peanut butter dick, because we don't have time now, then you put it now in your pan and you let it cold. How do you do that? And this is what you get. Look at this. 
Beautiful, beautiful. We'll put those depths on our website and our yes. Facebook pages as well. Anel, bye bye. I can't do depths. I weet jy it baie gesond, but I can't do depths. Weet jy wat? Okay, I'm gonna give this a go. But you know what? Have you ever considered where sugar actually comes from? Yes, sure, sugar cane. We all know that. But there's a very interesting process to get it from sugar cane to the actual sugar that you use in your sweet treats. Have a look. Oh, oh, Anel. From deliciously moist cakes to rich and creamy butterscotch sauce and the most decadent puddings, sugar is everyone's weakness. Once known as white gold because it was so valuable, it has now become part of our everyday. But where does sugar come from? I came to Mpumalanga to witness the journey from sugar cane to sugar cube. But who would have thought I'd actually find a mountain of natural goodness behind a baker's dream? And the best part of it all is that it's all South African grown and enjoyed. And that's perhaps a little bit more magical than a spoonful of sugar. The sweet journey begins in the lush green hills of Mpumalanga, in a small town called Malelane, where Tenji found the home of sugar. Workers from the community wake up bright and early to work in the sugar cane fields. And as you can see over here, this is cane that's not been burnt. And over here, this is cane that has been burnt. And the reason it's burnt is to make it safer and easier for workers to use. It's not easy work, but luckily they have a source of energy right at their fingertips. Sugarcane fields stretch as far as the eye can see and grow well here in the Kumasi area where sunshine and rain are plentiful. The sugarcane gets delivered in trucks to the factory. We are taking that cane and you want to expose the crystal in the cane. And to do that we shred it and that shredded cane is then exposed to hot water to wash out the sugar. The fiber gets used in the boilers and then the sugar that is mixed with the water is called syrup. The cut sugar cane then makes its way to the Malelane sugar mill. The syrup we take to the pans where we boil it in the pans and we make brown sugar, which is our first product. In the pans there's two things, it's molasses and brown sugar. After the pan is boiled, we separate those two. And the molasses is also then used further in other speciality products like our Muscovado product. And then the sugar goes forward for packaging in different commodity sizes. Besides the white sugar we all know and love, there's also demerara, great for caramels and crumbles, while Plantation Select makes delicious toffees. We love sweet treats so much, we've given Salati our seal of approval. You'll find everything you need to know about your exotic Salati sugar on the bag. What's more, this is where it gets some espresso love, with a logo in the front and a recipe by Zola O'Kaitlin at the back. Once it's packaged, it's all piled up and sent off to your favorite store. How sweet is that? With one million bags of sugar leaving this factory every day, we know that your tooth is as sweet as ours. So tune in every Thursday for some sweet baking inspiration. The sweetness lingers longer with another delicious recipe brought to you by Salati.